Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the United States Naval Academy Brigade Sports Complex for today's showdown between your Naval Academy Midshipmen and the Mount St. Mary's Mountaineers. Your Naval Academy roster at one, Michael Kalalau, two, Will Webb, three, Matthew Thibodeau, four, Vaughn Smith, five, Peter Ritnaiser, six, Tanner Russell, Eight, Ben Haw. Nine, Sean McLeary. Ten, Landon Ott. Eleven, Shady Bankston. Twelve, Lewis Gray. Thirteen, Jackson Alamon. Fourteen, Osea Malibua. Fifteen, Ronan Krieger. Sixteen, Nate Michaels. Seventeen, Ryan Hotelin. Eighteen, Jason Domico. Nineteen, Reese Packer. Twenty, Abby Lucey. Twenty-one, Matt Richardson. Twenty-two, Nick Janowski. Twenty-three, Titan Case. And your captain, playing seven, Jack McMahon. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise to the plane on that stand.
Sky Navy, number 12, Lewis Gray. Yeah, we 
Jimmy, I think we just need to even the odds. Very good. Let's do it again. Yeah, yeah. 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 
I'm really excited for the season. Uh, it's been great to just see how hard everyone's been working. We've had a few races, had some good workouts, and our packs have been really tight, which is exciting to see. There's not much separation between the girls, so I think we're going to have a good season. We're excited. We're ready to go. The guys have put in the work over the summer, so I'm excited to see how everybody goes. It's a little nerve-wracking, I guess, to have that target, but I think myself and the women are taking it in stride. Um, and kind of setting it as an expectation. You know, it's not just that that's our goal for this upcoming year, but it's what we expect to do, expect to win. We've talked about what happened last year was great, uh, but 
and a lot of those guys have now have that great experience to know what it's like to, to run that well. At the same time, they know it's a new team, it's a clean slate for them, and, and they're hungry for uh, this year. You know, it's not every day that we get to do what we love in front of our friends. It'll be a good opportunity for the team. Um, it'll be good to get in a trial run on the course before Army in one month. Feels pretty good. I mean, get to see everybody come out, support us, the brigade midshipmen come cheer us on, all my buddies from the other teams, my company, all that. It'll be a lot of fun. We're really excited to compete at home, especially this year because we also race Army at home. So it gives us a good opportunity to preview our own course um, in preparation for the big one in October. I enjoy this course a lot just because of its difficulty. Um, I think it prepares us for anything that may come ahead. And uh, it's in some ways uh, the cliche of everything's downhill after this. Uh, we've got enough hills here that in a way everything is a, at least lesser of a hill if not downhill uh, through the rest of the season. We just have a great team. Uh, we're supportive of each other both at practice and outside of practice in the hall and we're ready to have a good season. We had a real good preseason, you know, three weeks before conference started to see some different teams and to explore some different lineups. And bottom line, I think the Patriot League this year is, you know, up for grabs. There's a lot of good teams that are returning a lot of good talent. And so it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a really fun, fun Patriot League season. Now our mindset's focused on conference. Holy Cross is our first conference game, so we're definitely not overlooking them. I know we're all super zoned in on all right, this is conference play now. Time to gear it up and just really like advance our game. It's the one of the number one things in this athletic department is to win the star and beat Army, and so it's on everybody's minds. There's a team that we got to really put our put our hearts and souls into trying to compete with and to beat. We literally wear beat Army on the back of our shirts every day at practice. So this is a big game. It's a big Army Navy game, and we're definitely going in with the mindset as we're winning this game. Yeah, sure. I mean, it's a very difficult place to play. Obviously, they've got a great court advantage. Their fans are real, real difficult to play in front of. But bottom line is your your game has to be pretty dialed in because, you know, even even little things can can be a big deal when the crowd is that much of a factor. And last year was was tough. We lost in our star match, but we beat them two times at their place. So we're definitely coming into Gillis with the mindset as we're taking this star. Go Navy, beat Army.
real good preseason, you know, three weeks before conference started to see some different teams and to expect good teams that are returning a lot of good talent. And so it's going to be uh, it's going to be a really fun, fun Patriot League season. Now our mindset's focused on the conference. Holy Cross is our first conference game, so we're definitely not overlooking them. I know we're all super zoned in on, all right, this is conference play now. Time to gear it up and just really like advance our game. It's the one of the number one things in this athletic department is to win the star and beat Army, and so it's on everybody's minds. There's a team that we gotta really put our, put our hearts and souls into trying to compete with and to beat. We literally wear beat Army on the back of our shirts every day at practice, so. This is a big game. It's a big Army-Navy game. And we're definitely going in with the mindset as we're winning this game. Yeah, sure. I mean, it's a very difficult place to play, obviously. They've got a great court advantage. Their fans are real, real difficult to play in front of. But bottom line is your your game has to be pretty dialed in because, you know, even even little things can, can be a big deal when the crowd is that much of a factor. And last year was, was tough. We lost in our star match, but we beat them two times at their place. So we're definitely coming in to kill us with the mindset as we're taking this star. Go Navy, beat Army. By True is joining me now is one of the three football captains this year, Kip Franklin, you, BJ and Nichols, and John Marshall are the captains for the 2022 squad. What's it like to be a captain of the football program? Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd say it's a great honor. Uh, obviously, it's one of the one things at the academy that's picked by your peers and by the people you lead. It's a great honor for for not only the team that you love and the team that you play for, but like it's just like the brotherhood is put you in charge. They said, you are, you are one of the guys that we want to lead us. I mean, it's, I think about a lot, BJ is my roommate, we can't talk about it, just uh, it's a great honor. That's, that's our peers that picked us to do it. What can we know about BJ and Nichols and John Marshall? I mean, they're, they're probably two of the, mo the funniest guys I know. We, uh, in our little group chat, we love we loved to send memes. We love to kind of hang out. I mean, we're, we're very serious when it gets down to it. A lot of, a lot of admin stuff, a lot of, lot of stuff we got correct as a football team, but but we do like to have a lot of fun. You're not just the football captain this year, you are also the captain of the captains. For viewers that don't know too much about what that is, could you just go into a little detail? Yes, yeah, so it is officially the uh, liaison between the NAAA and the brigade leadership. It's a great, great honor for me. I get to work a lot with our brigade commander, Morgan Prigmore. And then the brigade XO, Leon Dunleavy, was one of my roommates, plebeer. So I have a great relationship with, uh, with the leadership. Going into this year, we, we do a lot, of, a lot of great stuff, helping the athletes get more involved and helping the athletes develop their, their leadership as we head to the fleet. What's it like to be the captain of the captain? Uh, it's awesome. I love it. Uh, obviously, it's, it's another thing that was voted on by the other captains, another thing I selected by my peers to do, which is it's great for me to think that, that people want me leading them. Um, just tremendously honored. I'm a great, I love sports. I love watching sports. So it helps, it helps me. If, if, if there was one leadership bill that I wanted, it was this, to go out. I mean, I, I can go to whatever game I want, and it's part of the job. Uh, it's perfect. I love it. Anyone that knows you knows that you have a very fun, loving personality. What's this like as a leader to show that there are different types of leadership styles to being a captain? Yeah, I'd say it's important. Everyone has their own system. Everyone has their own way of doing things. Uh, mine, mine's centered on fun. I want, if you're I think if you're having fun, you're going to be bought in. If you're bought in, you're going to play hard. You're going to work hard. And you're going to take care of business when you need to. But there's there's no reason not to have fun doing going through life. Kip, thanks so much for joining me today. Best of luck the rest of the season. Yeah, thank you.
Sky Navy, number eight, Dan Hall.
Drag him in, boys!